Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to find the diagonal length of a cube. I think you'll find that it's pretty straightforward, so let's get right into the lesson. We will of course need a cube to work with for this lesson, so I'll quickly draw you the best cube that I can. Alright, so that's not too shabby. There is our cube, and this cube, we will say, has a height that measures a units. And since it's a cube, this of course also means that it has a length, and a width of A units. We, of course, are interested in finding the diagonal length of a cube. So right here, this purple dotted line, this is a diagonal of the cube. We're trying to find the length of this line segment. It goes from this front vertex in the bottom left to this rear vertex in the top right. Of course, this cube does have other diagonals, but they're all congruent. And if you're not familiar with that fact, I'd recommend proving it once you're done watching this lesson. But since all of the diagonals are congruent, we'll just calculate the length of this one, and that is all the work we need to do. So how can we find the length of this diagonal? Well, the first thing that it might be beneficial to ask yourself is if you have solved a similar problem in the past, where you're trying to find the length of a line segment. And of course, we're probably all very familiar with examples from when we begin studying geometry, where we're trying to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So this here is a right triangle. And we know that if the legs of a right triangle have lengths a and b, and its hypotenuse is c, then by the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So this is a similar problem that we have solved before. Is there any way that we could take this solution and apply it to our problem? Is this diagonal part of some right triangle? Well, at the moment it is not, but it could be if we just introduce one more line segment. This diagonal intersects this edge, so it kind of looks like we might already have a hypotenuse and a leg. All we have to do is join this point and this point, and then we will have a triangle. So let's go ahead and do that, joining this purple point over to this blue point. And take note of the fact that this segment we just drew exists entirely in this bottom face of the cube. So now we have a triangle, but remember our solution that we're very familiar with works only for right triangles. So it's important to ask, is this a right triangle? And the answer is yes, it certainly is. We know that because in a cube, this edge is perpendicular to this face. Therefore, this edge will also be perpendicular to any line that is on this face of the cube. So we can go ahead and try to mark that while maintaining this sort of skewed perspective. This is a right triangle. Knowing that, we can easily find the length of this diagonal by applying the Pythagorean theorem. We know that the length of this leg is a, but what about the length of this leg? Well, we actually don't know that yet, but we can find that very easily by just using the Pythagorean theorem. Because notice, this blue leg is part of this right triangle. The faces of a cube are squares, so we know that this angle here is a right angle. So again, this is a right triangle. And the two leg lengths of this right triangle are both a. So by the Pythagorean theorem, let's call this hypotenuse c, we have that a squared plus a squared is equal to c squared. We can add like terms over here. Instead of a squared plus a squared, let's have 2a squared. And then to solve for c, let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of c squared is c, which I'll write over here on the left. And then that's equal to the square root of 2a squared. And since we've got our a squared under a square root, we can just take out the a and have that this is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by a. So the length of this hypotenuse c, I'll just use a, a sort of arrow here, the length of that is root 2 times a. Now I will just shrink this work so you can look at it some more if you want to and move it up there. And now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this diagonal, because we know we've got a right triangle, and we know the two leg lengths. So finally, by the Pythagorean theorem, we have that a squared, the length of this leg here, plus square root of 2 times a squared, which is the length of this leg here, 
is equal to, we'll call it x, so x squared. So now let's do a little bit of simplification. We have the square root of 2 times a squared. The square root of 2 squared is just 2, and a squared is just a squared, so we can rewrite this as 2 times a squared. Well, then we can add like terms. a squared plus 2a squared, that is just 3a squared. And then, just as before, we'll take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and then the square root of 3a squared is left on the other side. Just as before, since we've got a squared under the radical, we can take an a out, and we'll just be left with root 3 multiplied by a. So as you can see, it is a very nice and simple expression. This is the length of the diagonal of a cube with length, height, or width that measures a. Of course, the length, width, and height of a cube all have the same measures. So if you know the measure of the length, width, or height, multiply that by the square root of 3, and that is the length of the diagonal of the cube. Just for the finishing touch, we'll erase that x and put root 3 times a. So that's it. Pretty nifty, if I do say so myself, but I wouldn't want to leave you without giving you an example, so let's go through an example real quick. Alright, so here we've got our fresh cube. This is our diagonal, we'll just call d, and remember our formula we proved above, that d is equal to root 3 times a, where a is the length, the width, or the height of the cube. So let's just say that this cube has a height of 4 centimeters, therefore its length and its width also measure 4 centimeters. So then what is the measure of the diagonal of the cube? Well, I mean, this is just too simple. Why don't you let me know down in the comments? So that's all there is to it, folks. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the diagonal length of a cube. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or if any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And for the outro song, I'll play a new one I'm working on called Stingray. Day starts getting old, I'm still cold. I'm a little scared every time the sun rises I'm a little less unprepared I'm still cold